All right, so I'm going to tell you the story about how I pre-sold a course and brought in about 60 grand US. Here I am, I'm in Shenzhen, China, and I'm running a business from here called Influencer Inc. And I started hiring people on to run this business. So I've got like some coaching revenue. I've got some coaching clients I'm working with, right? So these coaching clients are paying me a bit of money and I start hiring people on. I'm hiring virtual assistants and then I'm hiring Jay, my filmer, and then I'm hiring the Nances, which is this husband-wife writing team that's working with me. and. This is just the beginning because I'm trying to hire a COO and I'm trying to hire these other people on and I want to grow this publishing training events empire and also I've got an event in Salt Lake City that I'm trying to get up and running this live event but the hotel needs a $5,000 down payment for to secure the venue and without securing the venue I can't market the event so I'm kind of like stuck here like how do I market this event and sell tickets when I don't have the venue and so I'm just like I need money, like we all need money, right? But I need money, I need money fast. And so I went to my team and I, we kind of had this Apollo 13 moment. So if you've seen the movie Apollo 13, there's that moment where the guy comes in and he's got all this junk and he dumps it out on the table and he says, all right, here are all the pieces that they have on the spaceship and we need to take what they've got and figure out how to build this thing from these pieces. And if we can't figure out how to build this part to fix something that went wrong on the spaceship, everybody dies and we've got 10 hours to do it or something. So that's kind of what we had as a meeting. So I sent this email out on a Wednesday and I said, all right guys, here are all our assets. I can get stuff into publications. I can write stuff. I can make video. I can do all sorts of things. Now what are we going to do? Should we launch a course? Should we go after more coaching clients? Should we go after speaking gigs? Like where am I going to get the revenue that we need to grow Influencer Inc. and get this to the next level and make sure that everybody actually gets paid on time? So we decided that the best route that we had for getting money fast, well actually, and the challenge I gave them, this was Wednesday and I said, hey, by Saturday, I want 30 grand processing into my bank account. So how do we, between Wednesday, when we have no clue how we're going to do this, and Saturday, how do we get 30 grand processing into my bank account that quick? So we went through the different ideas and we said, well, okay, probably the best thing to do is to pre-sell a course. And I owe some inspiration to Richie Norton on this one. So Richie, uh, I talked to him maybe two or three months ago, and I was talking with him about doing course stuff, and he says, well, you should just pre-sell the course. Like, cause he was telling me like, oh, we could make a course for you and we can do it with this high-end video and all this stuff. I'm like, well, how much is this gonna cost me? And he's like, oh, it's gonna cost like 30 grand or something to do it. And I'm like, all right, you got anything cheaper? Cause I don't have 30 grand laying around. And, oh, maybe we could do this for 15 grand or something. I'm like, okay, that doesn't help me much. I don't have 15 grand laying around either. He's like, well, go out and pre-sell the course. I'm like, what do you mean pre-sell the course? He's like, sell the course before you have it and then you make it before you actually have to give it. So I was like, well, that sounds great, but how do you do that? I mean, that sounds crazy. Like, how do you actually make that happen? But he planted this seed in my head. So when it came time for our Apollo 13 moment, we sat down and we talked about launching this course. And we said, well, this is it. Like, this is the best thing that we could do is to launch a course. Okay, what should the course be about? And we looked at my blog and the most popular post on my blog is about how to become a Forbes contributor because I've written 164 articles for Forbes and I was there for three years. I had a lot of experience writing there and I wrote blog posts about my experience there and how I got on and how I wrote these posts and how one of these posts that I wrote for Forbes generated $2 million in revenue from my agency and it's led to all this great stuff. So I get a lot of traffic to my blog asking me hey, how do you become a Forbes contributor and get on with these big publications and write these articles? So we said, well, why don't we launch a course around how to become a contributor 
at these high-end publications. Great, okay, let's do this. So we wrote some sales copy, stuck it up on my website. Our call to action was send me an email and tell me if you're interested and then I'll send you an invoice. So we stuck it up there on maybe like Friday night or Saturday, I don't remember exactly. So we stuck it up there and we sent out an email to my email list, which is only like 2,500 people. So it's not a huge community. And then we also published it in the Influencer Inc. Facebook group, which is about 3,000 people at this point, because it's growing really rapidly. It's like 3,600 now, but it was 3,000 a month ago or something. So we stuck it up in those two places and we got a couple of sales. We got like 15 grand by like Monday. So we didn't hit, hit the Saturday goal, but on Monday we had like 15,000 processing. And I'm like, this is awesome. I mean, we've got 15 grand going into the bank account. We just came up with this idea a couple of days ago. Like, this is great, right? The way I priced this was, I said, normally the course is going to be six grand, but, and we went through a lot of different pricing on this. I did a survey on Facebook not very academic or uh, rigorous, but I said, hey, what would you pay for this course? And I got answers from $30 to $3,000. And I looked at the people who were saying, hey, you should price this for $30. And I realized, well, they're expecting a course that's like really bare bones and like a couple of videos thrown up or something. Whereas the guy who said 3,000, that's Kamanzi, my buddy. And Kamanzi actually sells courses for 2,000, $3,000. And he was saying, dude, you got all this great experience writing for Forbes and 20 other publications, like you're the man on this stuff, you should charge premium pricing for this and you should like really like knock this out and make this awesome and charge a premium price for it. So I was like, well, I'm not gonna get to 30,000 going into the bank account if I'm charging 30 bucks for this course. So let's go for the high end and let's just make that happen. So we said, actually what we're gonna do, we're gonna price it at 6,000 but this is the beta because we haven't even launched this course yet. It doesn't even exist. And we'll just be open with people about that, that hey, this course doesn't exist, but we're gonna build it with you. And because we're building it with you, you're gonna get all sorts of extra one-on-one -on -one attention as we work with you to build this course together. So we'll give it to you for 3,000. That's the beta price, half off. So we got five sales, 3,000 a piece. We got 15 grand coming in the bank but I kept it at 20 slots and I really wanted to sell this out. Not just because I want that much money because it sounds good if you sell out the course. I mean, if you open up a course with 20 seats and you sell five, that's great. But if you can say, we sold out our first course, that sounds a lot better, doesn't it? And then you go into the next course and you're like, hey, this is the second time we're doing this. The first time we sold it out at 20, just gives it a lot more credibility if we could get to that, right? Plus you got the money so you can do everything a lot better. You can make a better course. So we uh, had five sales and then it's like, well, we already blew out my email list and we already blew through my Facebook group. So now what do we do? I mean, I can post this on my Facebook profile and my LinkedIn profile and Twitter and like seven people will see it on Twitter, but what are we actually gonna do to make this course really work and sell the next 15 spots? So then uh, I'm putting on this virtual summit for Influencer Inc. It's at influencesummit.co. And I interviewed AJ Wilcox, who's an expert on LinkedIn, and we're talking and he happened to mention, oh, did you know that you can go on LinkedIn and you can export all your connections on LinkedIn to a CSV file and get their email addresses? I'm like, no, I did not know this. And I've got about 15,000 connections on LinkedIn. So I was like, all right, now, anti-spam laws say that you can't send emails to people that you don't have a previous relationship with, but these are my LinkedIn connections. They accepted my connection. So is that spam if I send them an email and just tell them what I'm up to these days? Oh, and I've got this course. I don't know. Let's just email them. We'll deal with it. So I downloaded the whole list, 15,000 connections, and we crafted an email and we sent it out to those 15,000 people and we got a couple more sales on the course. In fact, I think we got up to like 12 seats sold at $3,000 a piece, so now we're up to like 36,000, 40,000, something like that. Anyway, so now we're like, man, we could actually pull this off. We could actually make this happen and sell like all $60,000 worth of seats, all 20 seats, sell this course out. Wouldn't this be awesome? Long story short, we sold it out. We sold all 20 seats, plus we got 
like six people who weren't able to get in, who wanted to get in. They had invoices, they just didn't pay first, so they didn't get in. So I had sent out at the end, like coming down to the limit the last like two days, there were two seats left and I had nine invoices outstanding that I had sent to people. And I was emailing everybody, I'm like, hey, like if you want in, there are two seats left and there are nine people competing for the seats and whoever pays first is gonna get in. So if you want in, you better pay that invoice fast. And so anyway, we got two people who paid the invoices, we sold it out, 20 spots, collected 60 grand basically. And now we're doing the course. We created a Facebook group, everybody's in there, we're creating content, we're making videos, and we're making all this stuff happen. And it's like, now it's so funny because I think back to this conversation with Richie Norton like three months ago when he was saying, go pre-sell a course, you can get 35 grand, I did it. And I was like, how, this is so impossible, like this can't be done, like how in the world would I make this happen? And I'm like, dude, I blew past that, I've got 60 grand and 20 slots, 3,000 a piece, like if you had told me that this was going to happen a month ago, I never would have believed it. And now it seems so simple, it's like, yeah, we had a community, we had an audience, we emailed the people that I'm connected to and it worked. And now they're going through the course, so once we have the course done and these people do become contributors, then I've got a track record, then I've got testimonials, then I've got evidence that it really works. And we'll have video, we'll have documents, we'll have templates, we'll have all this stuff ready to go so that the next time the course is more, I don't have to do so much work and we're going to be able to charge more. So next time, hopefully we'll sell it out, 20 spots at six grand a piece, we're gonna bring in 120 grand and it's gonna be less work to administer the course because we'll already have done it once and we'll already have all the materials and everything will be set up and ready to go. The other great thing about this course, just side note is, we're creating a community. So we've got 20 people who are in this Facebook group. They're the first cohort in this masterclass and they become the first group. But once we finish with them and we go on to the next group, they come into the same group. So now we're gonna have 40 people in this group and the new people can ask questions from the old people. So the old people who have already gone through it become mentors for the new group. And this is gonna be an awesome network because think of it, if you could be in a Facebook group with 20 and then 40 and then 60 and 80, but all these people are contributors to all these publications, that's an awesome network. Like these are people you can turn to, to pitch ideas to, to get advice from. And not everybody's gonna be a contributor for Forbes. So you'll have somebody at Forbes and somebody at Inc and somebody at Entrepreneur. You're gonna have all these different people at all these different publications and they're all gonna be in this private exclusive group and the value in that group is just going to grow as more people join this course. And so I'm looking forward to building this value. Kinda can't believe that it all came together and actually happened, but it did and it's awesome. And because we sold out that course, I can afford to hire a COO, Rob Duffin, who's just coming on now, and he's gonna help Influencer Inc. get really organized and keep us doing everything the right way and staying on top of stuff. So the quality of everything we're doing is about to go up. Uh, we were able to get the down payment on the hotel in Salt Lake City. Influence Live is the event. We're gonna have 500 people there. We've got a Navy SEAL coming to speak from SEAL Team 6. One of the elite of the elites is coming. Uh, we've got a bunch of other keynote speakers who are gonna be there. We're gonna do mastermind workshops. It's gonna be all about influence, how to build your personal brand, win on social media, get into the major publications, and use all this influence to grow your business. It's gonna be incredible. And all sorts of other stuff is taken off because we were able to get this revenue from this course, which is the catalyst for a bunch of stuff happening. So I'm like super excited. I think you can tell. And uh, anyway, thanks for listening to the whole story.